Good morning, Hobby Hawks. Today is Friday, October 20th. I'm Zoe. And I'm Sincere. And here's the news you need to know. Today's lunch will be cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, mini corn dog, or chicken and cheese tamale. This week, we are we are observing Digital Citizenship Week when we pledge to never use our mobile device as a weapon. Enjoy this week's final video. What am I supposed to do here? There has to be some way to get out. Where's Taya? Hey, Sabrina. I finally finished Miss Jones' homework. Have you figured out how we're supposed to get out of here? What if we knock down this wall? I tried shooting an arrow at it, but it didn't work. Hmm. Maybe if we hit it together, that'll create a bigger impact. That's a great idea. It's definitely worth a shot. Let's do it. Hey! <laughs> Watch where you're going there, noob. What's the password? Password? What are you talking about? They're not supposed to hit other players. They're gonna ban you. Says who? I can hit anyone I want to. <laughs> Oh no! Ha! I guess that's what happens when you're such a griefer. He was so annoying. Yeah, let's keep going. We're getting close to the final castle. Let's go through the forest. That knight just sent me a message. I bet they know how to get to the final castle. Hold up, Sabrina. Let's go the other way. Last time I was playing, I teamed up with a knight and I got a weird feeling. They wanted to know how old I was and where I lived. Oh, did you tell them? No way. You never know who's really playing this game. Better to play it safe and keep that kind of info private. Look, we made it! Welcome to the final castle. Most players don't make it this far. Enter at your own risk. Okay, Sabrina, you ready for this? I'm ready. We got this. Let's go! Counseling Department would like to let you know that next week we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week. We invite all of our hobby hawks to celebrate healthy, drug-free lives and participate in our dress-up days. On Monday, be sure to show everyone just how bright your drug-free future will be by wearing your favorite college shirt. On Wednesday, we will be having our pep rally celebrating how we are a drug-free campus. Students, you are running out of time to vote for teacher or administrator to get a pie in the face. Be on the lookout for Miss Tribal in the mornings before first period for an opportunity to get your last chance. The absolute last day to vote will be Monday, October 23rd. One pride book, one vote. The adults you may vote for include Mr. Caraco, Coach McGinnis, Miss Tribal, Mr. Flood, Mrs. Cooney, Mrs. Wells, Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Likens, Mr. Scope, Ms. Mrs. Stave, Mrs. Hyde, and Mr. Dillon. It's a close race, so you could be the deciding factor. Make sure you're at, you're at the pep rally on Wednesday, October 25th, to see the winner get pie. Attention student council members. We will have our next meeting on Tuesday, October 24th, before school. We will go over a few announcements and then make some posters, so be ready to paint. Attention 6th graders, next Friday, GT is hosting the first dance of the year. On October 27th, from 4.15 to 6.15, we will be having a 6th grade Halloween dance in the Hobby Cafeteria. Tickets will be going on sale next week during your 6th grade lunch period. The cost will be $5 per ticket, and we will be selling concessions at the dance as well. All items will be $1. Costumes will be allowed, however, no mask no or full coverage face paint. Also, you you will not be able to wear your costume during the school day, day of the day of the dance. Attention, PTA will be in the cafeteria signing up students for the membership drive. 
Membership is eight dollars, and you'll get a delicious treat for signing up. Do you like spooky stories? If so, then join us in the library for Creepy Cafe on Halloween. There will be two sessions: one before school and one during flex. This is a this is a free but ticketed event, and slots are limited. But sure, to, be sure to see Miss Fox for your ticket if you'd like to attend. We will listen to teachers read spooky stories and then get a treat on the way out. Attention all 7th and 8th grade Lady Hawks interested in trying out for basketball. Basketball trials will be held November 1st through the 3rd and 8th. Oh, the 3rd and 8th grade will try out at 7 a.m. and 7th grade will try out after school until 5.30. Anyone wanting to try out must have a physical and rank one paperwork on file. See Coach Corbasos with any questions. And now for our sports anchor, Coach Yard. Good morning, and happy Friday, y'all. Uh, so happy to be here. Sorry, I almost ate it there. In volleyball news, congratulations to our seventh grade volleyball team on their win against Pease last night. Eight team won in two sets. Shout out to our player of the game, Allison Baldwin, for leading our team with her awesome serves. Way to play hard, ladies. B team took out Pease Middle School last night, winning all three sets. Shout out to Adelina Pedesquia, Becky Shrivey, Alish Basaidia and Maddie Aleman for getting their serves over. Way to go. And Princess Nate for your great set. And Lillian Garcia for your hustle. Good job last night, girls. Eighth grade fought tough, but couldn't put it together. We'll get them next week. And let's get into football. Seventh grade boys hosted their pink out game Wednesday afternoon and hosted Pease Middle School. A team came up just a bit short. But B-Team avenged them with a win. Genesis Dangerous Davila with three total touchdowns. Way to go, B-Team. And your eighth grade boys traveled to Pease and had a touchdown party. 31-0 was the final score. Offensive studs were Freaky Freaky and Dewey with two tutties. Omar Funky Feet Franklin had one. And, of course, Father Jaden Fabuloso Feliciano pounded one in late. The air raid connection was beautiful between Superman David Sim and Dante Cake Daddy Baker. Defense was everywhere, too. Larnell Captain Crunchy Clark was flying, and he made huge plays all day. Kenneth Big Money McKenzie with a huge interception. Michael the Menace Matos with a big sack. Evan Giggity Garcia forces a fumble, as well as Solomon Saracha Saucy. Both recovered by Uriah the Jalapeno Hernandez. He's spicy. B-team game came down for the last drive of the game, but they couldn't quite punch it in. Shout out to Calvin, Pretty Boy, Pomeroy, Asher, Violet Morales, and James Psycho Sanchez for their massive efforts in that game to keep it close. Next week, we play Ross. It's a big game. Come out and support. If, if we win and some things happen, we could be competing in the four-team district playoffs. Come out and support. Eighth grade will be here home hosting Ross. Seventh grade will be at Ross. Have a great Friday. See you guys later. Peace. That's all for today, everyone. Let's go out and make it a positive, positive Purple Power Day. Oh! Tune in next time for more information about what's going on at Hobby and our weekly Friday sports recap with Coach Yoder. And until Tonight's next time, bye, bye Hawks. Hawks.